Hey everyone, this is David Stevens, or uh, some of us, you guys know me as Devil May Cry or Scammer May Cry. We're coming across with something much more different uh, and uh, much more dangerous with scammers. And I want to explain to you what I'm talking about in a few seconds. What are you looking here? It's called a C2 server. It's a command and control server. The difference with the C2 servers and the team viewers is that those servers tend to be having more than one login. So more of a one person of a call center can log into that server and take control to whatever computer is connected to that server or the victim's computers on the right side. The way it works, it is technically interesting because it's the first time that I'm seeing something like this. Normally we're used to see team viewer, any desk on attended access, ultra viewers to the victims of computers. However, this is a little more different than these softwares. Fellow scam baiters and victims, scammers are becoming more and more smart the way they operate and now they're using something that's called a C2 servers such as remote access tools that are actually are almost like root kits and really hard to detect. So basically, if you guys are saving a victims or if a victim wants to get rid of the tools that actually be installed on their computers, if this is installed on their computers, if this client to that C2 server is installed, you can't find it. And it's not removable anymore, at least to my knowledge. This is called ConnectWise. ConnectWise is a, co a company that actually use very legitimate software to IT support services. The problem with ConnectWise and the companies itself is that they're not really transparent or try to discriminate who's using their software per se. So if I just do something or search about ConnectWise, we can find, uh, let's see here, Connect, ConnectWise, here, ConnectWise, there you go. That's the company here. Here, so if I go here, it's fast, reliable access tools. So many of these companies are using ConnectWise in order for you or the IT support to use it for their own IT department. Now. The problem is that scammers tend to have a hold of it too as well. So if you go on the ConnectWise website and try to our software, then you just fill out that form. And I did a test. I filled out that form with a fake URL, fake everything, put my fake business email address. It doesn't have to be a Gmail account. Uh, scammers can get domains. Uh, they have domains and LLCs in India and also in Africa. So technically, they create a C2 server that's hosted on their servers, but they're not aware and they cannot actually monitor this really well. So what's happening? Why am I going to this website and what's, what's going on here? Well, the problem is that when you can do like an account where you use a C2 server servers that use remote access tools that's not detectable by any sort of antiviruses, this remote access tool can be used for malicious intent. And that malicious intent is really hard to get rid of because your antivirus is not detecting that software since it's legitimized. It's a legit software used by IT departments. So what's happening here? Well, technically, when you go to the ConnectWise, it creates this server right here. And you make that account and you give give your team like a login and passwords. They all log into this page right here as I'm logging as a user, as we expect here. And what's happening is that, for example, if you want to build a client for the person you're going to trick as a victim or for your IT support, uh, if you're part of a huge company on LLC, they tend to use those remote software for protecting their network. So they go to access and they start building what we call the clients. So we need to talk about clients. There's Windows MSI, Mac OS X, Debian Linux, 
Red Hat Linux, and Mac Linux. So dual steps of clients are used to be hosted on the website. So once you host those clients, um, what's happening? Well, you get this, this, and this. So here, if I go to the link here, and I copy this link, it would tell me to enter that specific number, depending on whichever client you created at the time. So when scammers do that, is that first they ask you the first question to their victims is knowing the operating system. And if it tell you, hey, what's your operating system? It's because, it's not because they want to help you. It's because they're trying to install this software that can be used maliciously by building a proper client, depending on your system here. And what happens next is that they send you a link through your email and they said to you, you have to go through that link and enter the specific code number that's located right here. Once you install this software on your computer, you can't remove it. Or you could by resetting your computer. The only way to remove it is on their end. It's the administrator of this server can remove it. So can we compare it to a rootkit? Absolutely. But it's not necessarily true, per se. Um, so basically here, what we're dealing with is that it's a co complicated software that can be used for malicious intent by scammers. Now, the way you're going to do this to remove it, this is really important for victims. And this is really important for everybody who actually access a link and had to put a code to download something on their computers, once you install this, you can't remove it. For to my knowledge, I haven't found a way to remove it. So this is the scariest part. However, there's a solution to this that me and my teammates were able to actually figure this out about how to remove this software and how them they can stop having connection to your computer. So Here's how it's going to be. You're going to go to the Windows Administrative Tools. Then you're going to go straight to Services because this is seen as Services now. It's part of Windows. Services. Click on it. And my service. Okay, here. In that specific services, because I don't have ConnectWise here, probably I won't be able to show you show you right here. Uh, but in this, by the way, this is not my server. This is a scammer that actually we uh, compromised, and we're trying to warn the victims as we go as they connect. So, for example, here there's another victim, but I don't know uh, who is who. This is probable another scammer's computers that actually has the software on his own computer for some reasons. Um, and this is all the other victims. They have 56 victims. We were able to save a doctor. We have to able to see like save a lady that was doesn't understand exactly what was going on. Um, we were able to do many things here to try to help out to get rid of this thing. Uh, apparently, one of the victims who was a doctor said he was scammed a month ago. But the problem is that when he downloaded that software, he was not off the hook of the scam the scammers were able to steal information from the doctor for the entire month. So technically, we're trying to save victims and let them know that they actually are still backdoored by the server. So how do we get rid of it? Well, simple. You go to the Windows Administrative Tools. You can't uninstall it. The only way to uninstall it so far that we know of is to reset your entire computer. So you go to the Administrative Tools, you click on Services, and then you see ConnectWise. So you can actually find for Screen Connect as service. So you look for Screen Connect under the S uh, part of the services. I don't have it here, so let's pretend this is Screen Connect, okay? So we're gonna right click on it, and we're gonna do Properties. And in here, you're gonna have something called Automatic uh, Delayed Start, or Automatic Start, okay? Well, here, I don't have the possibility to change that because this is a services that's used by a local computer. So it's a must services, but some services can be running. So let's try another one that's running here. Properties, here, automatic, this is running, okay? So again, I repeat that, right click on here, find screen connect, not shell hardware detection. This is just an example. 
screen connect right click properties okay once you go to properties you're going to see a startup type here you see automatic what's going to happen is that you're going to have to disable that services from functioning as startup so you disable right here okay but since actually this is only an example then in this case i'm just going to leave it as automatic on my virtual machine so once you disable it click on ok click on apply and then click on ok so we disable the services on screen connect now that doesn't give you off the hook yet this is just to let know the services that you don't want that program to work at startup or when the computer turns on so we're going to turn off this we're going to go back and here you have and right click on the of course on screen connect and here you have the stop you have to do stop once you stop that services the scammers is out of your pc totally this is really scary because now the scammers are getting smarter and smarter every single day to backdoor your computer in a way that you wouldn't know how to deal with you're not dealing with team viewer you're not dealing with any desk services and you won't even see screen connect on your task manager you won't see it at all it's not there for reason of the fact that actually it's used as an administrative tool on services so it's extremely important that you go and check the windows uh, administrative tools and their services see if you find screen connects screen connect is actually made by connect wise control remote software and a lot of scammers are starting using this for scamming purposes i ask you to be vigilant victims please follow these steps that i have if you have to repeat the video go for it repeat the video a thousand times but it's it's important that every single victim has to go through that steps to check their services because otherwise they may have been backdoored by this software as well and more and more scammers are using this software as we call the c2 servers i am i don't know how they found out about the c2 servers it's possible that somebody worked in the company and was able to make a an account here but as you see here it's so easy to make an account they don't discriminate they don't investigate who is actually making an account and they don't know who is using it this is not log me in either log me in you'll be able to see it on your task manager just right here and you'll be able to actually terminate the process in on install it like a new program so even doing this go to your add remove program you will not see connect wise on this add remove program you can uninstall whatever you want team viewer ultra viewer whatever you find as a remote access but connect wise is still not there so technically the only way for you to get rid of that services is the steps that i just showed you a couple seconds ago by going through properties uh, by first going through the windows uh, administrative tools go to click the services so again i do those steps administrative tools is right here and you go to services services is here find screen connect screen connect is actually under the s so you go on the bottom of the s pretending this is screen connect right click properties then here it's going to be automatic you'll have to change that to disabled and then apply okay so if i click on disable click on apply right here all right then what happens is that you just turn it take away go to stop by right clicking on screen connect again so and you never touch that services again now again there's not i mean i don't really know how to uninstall the services and that's what scares me the most so we're still studying the software on how it operates i hope this video can help you out on exactly understanding the the the, the thing that's going to happen uh, here when you're getting scammed even if you get control of the PCs and you didn't go through the scam the computer can be backdoor still by actually using this piece of software right here I'm going to make a video where I'm gonna get myself backdoored on a VM by this software in this particular server 
Um, and the only way for me to do that is like really quietly. I need to make sure that no scammers are connected on this particular server. Um, if you have questions about the server, like some questions like, how did you do this? How did you get into the server? Well, technically we have our techniques uh, that we used to actually sort of like reverse access a computer of a scammer. And uh, he gave us the password and log in and we logged in through the server and we found all the victims in that server. So I really want you guys to take the time. If you are a victim, take the time to go through the steps. See if you can find screen connect. If you do see screen connect in your services, do the step I tell you, disable and then stop the service. If not, then you're free to go. Just remove any remote software like any desk, team viewer, just uninstall it and get rid of it once and for all. Um, appreciate for you guys to watch this. This is really important for any victims to actually watch this video and, uh, and also to double check their services if screen connect is on their services. Thank you.